guys, so today I am super excited to be reviewing and showing you guys in action my new favorite hair tool, this bad boy, okay? I'm so in love. This is the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer, aka it's basically a blow dryer and like a blow out all in one tool. And I showed you guys this when I bought it on Instagram and asked if you wanted to see a little tutorial and you overwhelmingly said yes. And I'm so excited to show you what it does and how exactly I use it. Sorry, there's kind of a lot of hair in it right now, but I did literally just use it and it's real life, you know? There's hair, hair and hair tools. So I seriously think that this is one of the most revolutionary products that I have ever used on my hair. So if you wanna see how I got this look just from that one tool, then keep watching. All right, so, so far, all that I have done is I took a shower and obviously washed my hair. Since then, I have waited about an hour and a half. Actually, right now, it's probably been a little bit longer just because it took me some time to like set up my filming and everything, but usually I wait about an hour and a half before I start the blow drying process. And you totally can just go and start blow drying your hair immediately after washing it. However, the reason I prefer to wait about an hour and a half is because at that point, I feel like it's that perfect middle ground where my hair is still a little bit wet as you can see however it has dried a lot so it's no longer soaking wet that just makes the whole process go a lot faster which I appreciate but also because it's faster that means that I don't have to put as much heat on it and I don't damage my hair as much so that's why I prefer to wait about an hour and a half but like I said you could totally do this when your hair is completely wet right after the shower it will probably just take a little bit longer and as far as products that are in my hair right now, the only thing that I have in it so far is that it's a 10 spray. I know I've talked to you guys about this before. It is amazing. I use it as like a detangler, but also it is a flat iron spray and thermal protector. So obviously very important to use something like this before putting heat on your hair. And then you'll also notice that my hair is in a middle part right now. This is a little hack that I use. Typically my hair is not in the middle part, but I find that if I let it dry like this and I actually use the blow dryer with my hair in the middle part, then when I'm all done and I actually go and do my normal side part, it adds a lot of really natural volume to my hair. So the first thing that I always like to do is put some thickening spray in it. So this is the one that I have been using. It works so well. I notice such a big difference and I always make sure to use this. So this is the Bumble and Bumble BB Thickening Spray Pre-Styler preps hair for lush blow dries. But I just love how much volume this adds to my hair, how much thicker, more luscious it makes it look. So I always spray this in my hair before I start blow drying. So I will go ahead and spray this both at my roots and also a little bit throughout my hair. Then I will just go through and brush it out to make sure it's evenly spread throughout and that there's just like no big kinks in my hair. Then I'm actually gonna go ahead and do this in two separate layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the top half of my hair up and we're gonna start with the bottom half. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and brush through the bottom layer again. Again, just to make sure there are no kinks or anything. It's nice and smooth. All right, so this is the tool. It has a few different heat settings. So it has off, cool, low, and then high. I typically use the high, but if your hair is like super, super fine, or you're just really worried about heat damage, you could use one of the other settings. And obviously this is going to be really loud as I actually do my hair. So I'll probably just do a little fun background music and a little fast forward of me doing it. So I do just wanna quickly talk through with you guys exactly what I do step by step first, and then I'll actually go ahead and show you it in action. So the way that I work is by taking small sections of hair as if you were straightening or curling it, putting it through the brush, and then I actually make sure to kind of like stick it into the brush. You can see here, so it's actually a little bit within it. Then I always brush out like this and kind of loop down the bottom there to really make sure it's nice and smooth. And I work from most of the time the bottom, but I'll also usually do a layer from the top just to make sure it's perfectly dry on both sides and just to help it stay nice and smooth. Something that I find is really important though when you do this is that you wanna hold your hair kind of like out horizontally like this versus brushing it down like this. And the reason I like to dry it out horizontally like this at the roots versus down is because when you dry it like this, it helps it just have a lot more volume versus if you dry it like this and it dries really sleek and straight to the side of your face. 
So again, showing you guys kind of one more time what this looks like as I talk through it, and then I'll actually do it with like the heat on. So kind of start at the bottom, make sure the hair is like really pushed through, slowly smooth it out, and then at the ends, really make sure to kind of like round it out as you pull it down. And like I said, and you'll see me do this in action, sometimes I'll also go from the top like that as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you guys this amazing tool in action. Okay, so this is the first layer done. Seriously, how insane is this? And it literally took me like two seconds. I am obsessed. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this layer into a little low ponytail with another scrunchie, take the top layer down. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing again, making sure that as I'm blow drying it, I'm kind of starting with the hair more horizontal or up versus blow drying it straight down. layers are done. I'm going to take my hair out of scrunchy in the back. So now that it's all dry, I'm going to go ahead and do my part to the side like I normally do. And so see how when I then flipped my hair back over to my side part, how I did get this like really nice kind of natural little bit of volume right here. I love that little hack. And then as my finishing touch, I always add one pump of my way hair oil. So I'm gonna put one pump of that in my hands, run it between my fingers to get it nice and evenly spread out. And then I'm just gonna work this through the ends of my hair. 
So by doing this, it really just helps smooth my hair out even more, bring some of that moisture back to my ends that are a little bit more dry. And it also just adds like a really nice healthy sheen without making your hair look oily or anything like that. So I'm like obsessed with this oil. I know this is something else I have talked about before, but it is so good. All right, and then I'm just gonna brush it through one final time, and that is it. How amazing is this, you guys? I cannot believe that I got my hair to look like this from just one tool and in 15 minutes. Like, it's absolutely crazy to me. I am so in love with this thing. Like literally before, if I just wanted to blow dry my hair or if I just wanted to straighten it, like just doing each of those things alone would take me 15 minutes. So the fact that I can do two in one now in the same amount of time is amazing. And I actually like the look of this way more than if I were to just straighten my hair because I feel like it looks so much more natural. It has so much more volume and so much more life. It's so much thicker. Like I really just like it more than if I just straightened my hair. But of course, after doing this, you could totally go in with a straightener if you wanted to, just to make it even more straight and even more smooth if you prefer that look. I typically just leave it like this. Or another option is you could then curl your hair. Usually day of, I always just leave it like this because I feel like it just looks so good. But maybe in like one or two days, if I did want to curl my hair, I could then totally curl it on top of this. And I've actually found that the curls last a lot better than they did before. I don't know if it's just because my natural hair is so like, frizzy and wavy and so it wasn't the best surface to hold a curl but when my hair is like this and it already has that product in it I feel like the curl it just looks a lot smoother and it lasts a lot longer so to summarize I definitely think this is one of the best purchases that I have made lately and I definitely think if you're thinking about getting one you absolutely should it has like really changed the game for me I'll make sure to link it down below so you can easily shop it if you're interested and if you do get it please do let me know, message me on Instagram, or leave me a comment on this video because I want us to talk about how much we're both obsessed with it because I know you guys are gonna love it. So with that, I think this wraps up this video. I hope you guys all had a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in my next video or over on my Instagram. If you guys follow me there, I'll leave a link for that also down below so you can follow me there if you don't already. And I'll talk with you guys soon.